What up? What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy, Jess. Welcome to week six of our current season. I apologize for the only one video yesterday. Really going through a lot as these things happen to come up. Got smacked in the face with life the other day and, um, you know, very unfortunate. But I will uh, reveal all the madness that's been going on on stream. Um, eventually, I'll go ahead and make a video so you guys can just understand if there's a lack of content, uh, just why that is. But nonetheless, here we go. Week six, current season so far, 5-0. and oh, uh, Played very poorly on the offensive side of the ball the last few games. Definitely hoping to go on ahead and have just a skosh more success when it comes to going on ahead and moving the ball. So after that first down, he goes on ahead and gets a nice little shack. On the right side, second and 16, said, a little bit of eight. What? And right here, third and 25. Hits me with the play action. Goes deep up top on a streak, and he drops the pass. And then he just quits. Like, at least go for it on fourth down to see if you can go on ahead and uh, come away with the completion. At, at least try. You know, my opinion, at, at least give it a shot. <laughs> but uh, he doesn't. You know, who am I to judge? So here we go next week. Um, you know, hopefully we can go on ahead and... Uh, now I have somebody quit and mess up my production. So, here we go. Third and five right here. Beautiful pass to the flats, but he flat out drops it. Can't say anything other than we, we got lucky. And right there, don't test that user. He is so disrespectful. Somebody, please. <gasps> Give that gentleman a link to my channel. No, do not throw the ball my way. Then he's going to log in. YouTube.com slash Mr. Golden Money. Like, oh, my God. No wonder why I shouldn't be testing the user, man. He's so good, man. He's out there ball hawking and everything. And maybe I should have just made me read the ball throw away from its user. And then he just ends up quitting immediately just like that. So, uh, here we go. <laughs> Another game. And, uh, again, we'll see uh, how this game unfolds. So, this time, though, we actually begin with the ball on offense. So, uh, here we go, uh, running the ball, as I always try my best to do. Uh, second and 10 right here. Actually, we're going to take a look at his team. And uh, his team is just stacked. He, he's got a squadron. He's got everybody. And he's he's got a very good team. A very, very, very good team. Um, he's got certain guys in certain positions, you know, just for uh, speed purposes. But, you know... Nonetheless, he's just absolutely stacked. So uh, when you're going up uh, against a very, very high caliber team like this, um, you got to try and make limited mistakes because, you know, the computer will definitely, you know, pounce on you if you're going ahead and make a mistake. Like, don't you throw a half a second early towards Dion. Oh, he's snagging it. <laughs> right here, we just got thrown out of bounds. Nobody's open. But uh, it didn't take me long to realize he was a D-line user. Um Right there, nice little inside juke by Emmett. And we get ourselves a nice game, making a very easy, manageable third. What's this guy D-line user? Okay, maybe he's not Mulligan. One of these games, I go up against a D-line user. Um, first and 10, run towards the outside. And we just have enough speed to just break away and get ourselves a gain of eights. So right here, we just attack the flats wide open. We were gladly going ahead and take that. Moving the ball slowly but surely right here. The flats again. You know, if you give me the flats, we're going to continue, you know, doing what it is we do. Right here, we hit him with a C route. Notice he was playing a, a ton of man-to-man. -man. Um, right here, just end up going to the quick drag route with Reggie Wayne. Playoff edition, and we end up scoring. So... Here we go on the defensive side of the ball. Let's see if we can go on ahead and uh, look at me, man. I'm trying to make adjustments. Getting caught on freaking. Hey, Bo, Bo, don't relax. You're getting caught on me, Joe Green. So uh, right here goes to a play action. Nice little pass, little crossing route going over towards the left side. Right there, we send a little bit of edgy, but he hits the flat. And of course, Dion can't tackle to save his life. Uh, first and 10, he decides to run the ball with Bo. And, and I'm definitely expecting a heavy dosage of Bo. Because he's, you know, he's one of the best running backs in the game. He's an absolute monster. But uh, he's not me up at this point. And he gets ball at halftime. So, um, looking like he might be able to hit us with that double dip. If he scores, let it be quickly. Let me have enough time to go on ahead and uh, retaliate. That toss right there lost him a ton of yards. Forces a third and 18. Goes up top. One-on-one -on -one situation. Sean Taylor's having none of that. And whenever it's a one-on-one -on -one situation, I don't know about you guys, but I get a little nervous. Right? We hit him with the wheel. Right? I get a little scared, man. Because I... I never know what the hell is going to happen. Try running the ball, and that went absolutely nowhere. Decided to run the ball again right here. Bo Jackson gets us a huge game. Nice little easy third and six. The flats is wide open, but we do end up going to the C row. Eat some dead stuff. Look at that. Look at that, that precision juke, though. Not a lot of people utilize the precision juke, man. That bad boy is sexy, bro. 
It's sexy when you utilize it correctly. So uh, right here, another corner post, and we are just killing him with the uh, combination of routes we got on the field. You know, um, certain routes, like there isn't a single route that beats zone coverage. You know, you're not going to find one. A con there's combinations of routes that you need that's going to go on ahead and beat zone coverage. Right there, just my fault. Thinking I have one timeout remaining, which unfortunately I did not because I'm a dodo brain. And um, I wasn't able to come away with any points right there. And that right there sucked. Um, you know, just like if they got like a cover two or a cover three, you know, like, you know, cover two, you know, the cornerback plays the flat. Um, you know, if you have uh, a flat route going over there, something to occupy that light blue, then you have a corner route going that way that's going to be button it. You know, you guys understand what I'm saying, man. We go up top to Tony G, and that's that old school Madden 08 jetpack animation and he does like tony gonzalez is easily the best when it comes to getting that animation right there that jumping twirling around catching mid-air and it's so so difficult to go on ahead and stop and he does that more than anybody second and ten right here we end up getting a sack sent a little bit of heat what right there beautiful pass right there threading the needle picks up the first down rolls out throws on the run and we get ourselves another turnover, and he's going to go on ahead and quit the game. So that's the end of the video, fellas. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. It's your boy, GS. We're going to go on ahead and be signing out. Follow me on Twitter if you guys don't already. Love you guys. Appreciate the support. See you guys soon. Peace.